What it do, what it do, fam, bam, it's your boy, King D-Light, and I'm coming back with another video. Hey, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, and if you're not new, you know what this channel is already about to do. All right, today, we're going to be talking about um, an incident that happened in Dallas, Texas, uh, at Corsica Schools, uh, middle school, rather, and um, shout out. And um, it was regarding uh, an assistant principal, Kendra Rogers. Kendra Rogers was critically injured where to the point where she had to be airlifted to the hospital. Now, we're going to go into this story. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about it. ISD assistant principal remains in the hospital. The district tells us she was injured by a student in a classroom. We're told she is improving, and the student involved will face charges. NBC5's Ali Spilliards has the latest on the investigation and the community's response. Just a week into a new year, students and staff at Collins Intermediate School are reeling. Yesterday, we had a disruption in a classroom that escalated. Corsicana ISD spokesperson Raymond Linick says assistant principal Kendra Rogers is recovering after she was airlifted to a hospital injured by a student. She was just trying to intervene yesterday and things kind of escalated and got out of hand. With Rogers still in the hospital, neighbors gathered in prayer outside of the school this morning at a vigil organized by former board member Barbara Kelly. Right now, we just need to heal and help make it better. Kelly says the community celebrated when Corsicana native Eugene Rogers returned last year as head football coach. Now they're rallying around his wife, Kendra, who's also become an integral part of this community. We were all just hurt. We just crushed, you know, because I know the purpose on why they came back because they didn't have to come back, you know, but they came back because they wanted to help, you know, help our young people, help, you know, the program. And so just, you know, it's just so hurtful. The Navarro County District Attorney has said the student was released to his parents following a hearing. As for Rogers, Lennox says she's making progress. She's improving. She's in good spirits. She's very strong. And neighbors say she's backed by a strong community. At the end of the day, we have to take ownership. We have to say, okay, what, what do we want to do to make it better? What are we going to do to make it better? In Corsicana, Ali Spilliards, NBC5. Because that student is a minor, the district attorney's office tells us it will not release any more details about possible charges. Now, there you have it. Yes. Middle school. Uh, they said it was a classroom of 10 students there. It was, really wasn't a big setting. But, you know, said this, this boy obviously went ballistic. And, and really obviously went in on this assistant principal for whatever reason. But I'm going to tell you, these middle school kids are just as big. <laughs> you know, a lot of them are big now. Some of them look grown. But the thing about it is, it's getting out of hand. These kids have no respect for the elders, they don't have no respect for authority. They don't have no respect for their parents. They don't have not even respect for themselves. And the sad thing is that it's getting worse. Now, I've been in education for 35 years now. And uh, I like to see that things are getting worse. You see more that's happening. Things that are happening in school. Violent outbreaks in school. And this is middle school. And see, I work at a middle school. An elementary middle slash middle school. And I'll Subbed in class is in middle school for long term. I've done social studies in the classroom, health in the classrooms, you know. 
And I've dealt with some unruly students. Now, what this boy did was unacceptable, totally unacceptable, to the point where it sent the teacher to, not a teacher, but the principal, assistant principal, to the hospital. And her husband works there. He's a coach, a football coach. So we got to continue to pray for the kids with their mentality. We got to pray for us as educators. We can be overworked and underpaid. That's just the truth. It is what it is. And, you know, we got to pray for, you know, the administration, everything, the whole school system. See, the kids, not only just in school, they're doing things outside. You know, they're unruly. I mean, from criminal acts, disrespecting the, you know, elders, wherever they may be, they don't care. And it started naturally from the age seven on up. And this is all, like I said, is learned behavior. Too much of these doggone video games, too much social media, all of this is affecting the kids. I'm telling you, back in the days when I first started in this field, totally different, totally different. Kids were a lot more respectful back in the day. And as the years got on and on and on, seemed like things got worse. Kids got more disrespectful. Now you're seeing to the point where they're getting violent. It's getting out of hand. It's got to be stopped. I believe, and this is my opinion. Now, hey, you might think I'm wrong, but I think that child should be tried as an adult for the simple fact that if he was able to get into that raging mode to the point where it send an administration, administrator rather, to the hospital and have to be airlifted it was obviously brutal. They say she's doing better. But we're going to continue to pray for her and pray for the school system. And this is all I got to say about it. That's my point of view. Is today's kids are just now, they don't care. They're callous. Not all of them but quite a few. And they think they, you know, know everything and don't know nothing. This is your boy D. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Ain't nothing you can do about it, definitely. And remember, take care of yourself and each other. Until we meet again in the next video, God bless you. Peace.